I don't care whether you are young or old, have been fishing for one year or 20 years, pond fishing still is one of the most fun ways to go out there and catch bass. And in today's video, I wanna give you the top five pond lures, the ones that I think are the best that have ever been created. So let's dive on in. Number one is the frog. You absolutely cannot go fishing in a pond without bringing a frog. And probably the number one reason is that most ponds that you go to, you're gonna see some sort of pond scum or pond slime on the side of the pond. The thing that some guys may not know is that bass will get way far underneath of that scum. They will be right up underneath of it. And so casting that frog out, letting it hit on that scum, dragging it across the scum, you're gonna get some explosive bites from those bass that are hanging right on the edge and underneath of that scum. Now, when you're fishing a frog, I think it's important to know that most of the time you're actually not imitating a frog. I am sure that bass eat frogs from time to time, but a lot of times with this bait, you're actually just imitating a bluegill. And so one of my favorite times to actually pick up this frog is sometimes during full moons, you will see bluegills that will actually push up to the bank in your local pond and it'll they'll make these little honeycomb nests. And when those bluegill are nesting, the bass are gonna be just around that nest picking off those bluegill. And one of my favorite baits to throw is that frog. So anytime you go to a pond, do not forget about a good old frog. Lure number two is one that you may have not picked up a whole lot, but it is a great pond lure, and that is a chatterbait. Now, in particularly, the one that I really like for a lot of pond fishing is the Z-Man Mini Max. This is a little bit of a smaller profile chatterbait. I would consider it almost like a finesse chatterbait, and this thing absolutely wrecks pond bass. You will catch so many fish on this little bait. If you have not picked up some sort of bladed jig and fished it in a pond, oh my gosh, you are missing out. And like I said, my favorite one is this little Chatterbait Mini Max. And real quick, guys, I'm going to leave a link for all the lures that I'm talking about down below in case you want to pick some up. This is really my go-to bait whenever I'm fishing kind of the middle of the water column. We kind of talked about what I like to throw on top, that top water frog. But in the middle water column, this is kind of that bait that I like. And the thing about it, chatterbait is it has a fairly big strike zone. Fish will come from three, four, five, six, seven feet away to get that bait. So if you're casting this bait out, kind of keeping it in the middle of that water column, you're pretty effectively and efficiently working that whole area and able to pick up a lot of pond bass. Now, the other great thing about a chatterbait is that if your pond has a lot of grass and weeds in it, as long as it's not that real snotty, slimy stuff, you can get this chatterbait to come through those grass and weeds extremely well. A lot of times, I'm actually going to purposefully get this bait kind of hung up in the weeds and pop it out of the weeds, and that's when the bass will get it. So absolutely pick you up a Mini Max. It's one of the best pond lures you can own. The Texas rig. You cannot go fishing in a pond without a Texas rig. It might be the very best bait to use in ponds that is the most consistent. The thing about a Texas rig is that you can fish it a number of different ways and it seems like bass always bite the thing. Now, obviously, one of the biggest ways you're gonna fish this bait is kind of hopping it across the bottom. So if the fish, if the fish aren't really active, they're not hitting the top water, they're not hitting the chatter bait, a Texas rig is one of the best ways to kind of work that bait slowly across the bottom and pick up a lot of fish. The other thing though I like about a Texas rig is you can use a, a, a lighter weight on this thing and you can actually swim it just below the surface. You can also kind of swim it in the middle of the water column as well as like what we talked about. You can hop it across the bottom. So if you only have one rod that you can bring with you to that local pond, I would rig up a Texas rig. It, it is, it's, it's very weedless. It's gonna come through anything, grass, snot, weeds, and it catches a ton of bass. Now, as far as the plastic goes on it, you can use almost any plastic out there. Two of my favorites that I like to use are this Berkley Pit Boss. Another one is some sort of plastic ribbon tail worm, like a Zoom Old Monster or even a seven inch regular worm. Those are great baits to put on my Texas rig. They catch bass no matter where you live in the country, and it's an extremely versatile bait. Now, you pretty much cannot talk about pond bass 
bass fishing without mentioning this bait. It's caught, it's probably caught more pond bass than any other lure out there on the market. And that is the Gary Yamamoto Weightless Cinco. This bait, like I said, it's probably caught more pond bass than any other bait probably in America. And there's two ways that I like to rig this bait. I will rig it Texas style, like you see right here. This is actually what I do most of the time in ponds, again, because you might be dealing with a lot of grass or weeds or kind of scum that's on the bottom. And this Texas rigged uh, Cinco comes through that stuff really, really good. The other way is, of course, a wacky rig. A wacky rig is, is a little bit less weedless, but it has a phenomenal action, even a little bit better than the Texas rig, and it catches a ton of fish. It's a great way to mimic a bluegill. It's just a great pond bait. Like I said, you can't go to the pond without some Cinco's. Now, this next bait may be a little bit more advanced, but I'm telling you what, it is a phenomenal pond bait that a lot of guys don't pick up, and that is a glide bait. I know, I know, it may seem weird to throw bigger glide baits in ponds like this right here. This is a Spro KGB Chad Shad. But the thing about pond fishing is that a lot of the bass in those ponds are eating bigger bluegill. And a good way to mimic one of those big, big bluegills is with one of these glide baits. And not only that, it's just something that is extremely different. A lot of bass have seen Cinco's, Texas rigs, frogs, all the lures that we kind of talked about. Not many of them have seen a glide bait. It's a great way to also get very comfortable fishing a, a glide bait is by casting it around and fishing it in ponds. Not to mention, I, I bet you might catch one of your biggest bass ever with a glide bait in a pond. Now, the big thing that I've noticed with ponds is you want some cleaner water, like the water I have behind me. To throw that glide bait in, you really want some clean water. What I like to do is keep that bait just below the surface. I pretty much can see it with my own two eyes the entire time, and you will see some giant fish eat this bait, follow this bait. It's a really exciting way to fish, and if you haven't tried glide baits, I highly suggest you do so. Well, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment below, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.